Q&A. Fan mail! Lovely. At the time that you will be seeing this video, or when it will be published anyway, I don't know when you're gonna watch it, you could be in the future. I should be well into a Black Friday Goodwill run with Sergeant Deplorable and other friends. Uh, that will be getting published hopefully early next week. Possibly Monday if I can get back and get it edited in time. Should be fun. No other plans for travel yet. There are a number of events for next year that have already been announced. I have not decided which ones I will be going to yet. Do feel free to put your suggestions on which ones you think I should go to. Or if you're planning to run an event, by all means reach out to me and I'm, I might pick yours. I do like going to different events and I want to go to new events and more events. Um, obviously, travel budget is always an issue, but we shall see how much travel I'm able to do next year. All right, that's some questions. Not a whole lot of questions this time, so we'll be able to get through them quickly, which is good, because I have a bunch of package. Big Picture asks, what would you consider to be a fantastic minigun build with flywheels? A deplorable. Build a deplorable. Um, well, to get the minigun, though, to get the rotating barrels, you'd, you'd need to get your hands on an RE Armory barrel, which is what I have on mine. The mine was custom built for that blaster instead of a Vulcan. He does sell a Vulcan barrel that just, it drops in, it's got the rotating barrels, it's fabulous. Um, you add the flywheels, it's, it's glorious. Um, if you can get your hands on an Air Warriors Punisher, they can be upgraded. It's just a matter of replacing the motors and possibly the wheels. I don't know that anyone ever made a cage for it, but you could still upgrade the internals easily enough. Um, and the newest Dart Zone one that I, or not Dart Zone, um, X-Shot one that I don't remember the name of. I'm not sure I ever knew the name of it. That one actually looks pretty good. Pretty cool. It's big. It's a good size. I like it. Um, and with the right modifications, a, 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 a Nerf Titan is actually not bad. You just, it, you just gotta upgrade it, which is true of any Nerf Blaster, really. Huntress236. Does your HVZ Alpha Trooper have a name? It does not. Um, honestly, it probably earned one, but there was never that defining moment of if I'd had any lesser blaster, I would have been taken out. But luckily, I had this one. Um, I think the last time I seriously run it, ran it in an HVZ, it did in fact fail me. <laughs> um, because it was raining and it got wet and the catch started to slip. Um, so no, it hasn't earned its name yet. Stuart Craig. Do you have an X-Shot long shot? I have two, and one of them is already modified, and the other one I do still need to open up and modify. Um, the one got the heavy modifications. They're both going to get metal cylinders, um, plunger tubes, because the plunger tube breaks. Um, but one got a longer barrel and an upgraded spring and all of that, and the other one will be getting a lesser upgrade. Um, this will have a high-powered one and a low-powered one, just just because. Um, Morton Hu is Bob, being your second favorite Dresden character related to Murray the Dark and Demonic Skull. 100%. Madam. Madam. Flying Spur 99. For your Lego fleet, do you have plans to build a uh, the drought sections of the hulls or... Draft? The draft. The draft sections of the hulls or are they strictly waterline up? Strictly waterline up. Um, the amount of additional parts and the... the kind of parts necessary to build... The entire um, draft is uh, cost prohibitive and expensive. Um, and they would take up a lot more room. I'd have to build stands for them to be able to display them. And not, not something I'm ever planning to do. Um, but I've seen some people who have and they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Reginald Gemini. What is the hobby definition of HPA? So here's the annoying thing, there isn't one. Um, the, it's one of the downsides of our hobby being very decentralized and unstandardized. There is no true functioning standard definition for what qualifies as HPA and what is LPA and what, uh, what is what. Um, what if it's something that has like a pre-built tank like a titan tank or an xbz tank or any of those various you know tanks that were made by nerf or, or or similar companies that's typically what's referred to as lpa low pressure air because you're looking at relatively low psi um, most of the time um, hpa is typically if you're using like a paintball tank and it's pre-pressurized and you're filling up 
a tank like a Titan tank or something from another air tank uh, that is high pressure, that has you know hundreds of PSI in it, and you can get multiple, multiple shots before you have to pump it back up. And uh, you, often there'll be a motorized pump involved of some kind that's pressurizing a pre-compressed air tank. That's typically what HPA is. It, it doesn't usually have to do with the the FPS or the, the power of the blaster itself, because you can regulate that. Um, the, the H, the high pressure, is coming from the tank that has the high pressure air pre-compressed into it. I think. It's entirely possible that other groups are using a completely different definition of HPA versus LPA, and they might be basing it on PSI, or they might be basing it on the FPS of the blaster itself, and that is, like I said, the issue with the de-standardized, decentralized nature of our hobby. And it's one of the reasons that it hasn't really caught on, because it is unregulated within the hobby, and it's easy to say, you know, flywheelers, we want this FPS, springers, we want this FPS, um, and how you achieve that you know, and how fast you make the wheels go, how heavy the spring is, how big the plunger tube is, stuff like that. Um, that we all fairly well understand and is kind of standardized within the hobby, whereas HPA is a whole world of new technologies of different kinds of tanks, different kinds of firing mechanisms, all kinds of stuff that most people, including me, do not have a very good working understanding of, and so it of course scares us because we are afraid of the unknown, we're afraid of things we don't understand, we don't know how safe it is, we don't know how um, reliable it is, we don't know uh, if, how, you know, how, um, is it always going to get the same FPS every time, if is it going to get different FPS, can they change it really easily, stuff like that. Um, and it really, if, if we could get a good educational campaign going on it and get some kind of a standardization of it, it might be more widely adopted. Um, it is something I've wanted to learn. It's one of the reasons I recruited Dr. Pew into the crew, is because he does understand HPA on a level that I simply do not. Um, and if I ever do learn, I will make videos about it and do my bit to try to educate more people in the hobby so that it can become more standard. Or I might just discover this is not a good idea and we shouldn't do this at all. We'll see. And finally, the nerfer next door. Is that an Aaron Esser type mask in the background? Are you talking about that one? I don't know. I found it at a Goodwill during Halloween. Um, it's a club. Club shape. He may have them. I don't watch Aaron Esser's channel. Not my style. Yeah, right. That's all we've got for questions. If you have a question that you would like to ask, by all means, ask it in the comments of this video, because that's where I draw questions for, from for the next video. And uh, we're going to get into this loot after these potential messages. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Ah! Ah! Direct hit! All right. Loot! I have four Pekage. I believe at least one of them is very definitely something that I was sent for review, and more of them might be as well. I do not I, I do not do a good job at keeping track of what's being said. We will start with this one on the end. If it is stuff that I'm supposed to review, this will be this will be kind of a teaser of what's coming up in the near future of cool things people have designed and have sent me. Oh very god, yes, this is an item for review, and it might actually be several items. It appears to be more than one item for review, and they are, well, the, the main one is in fact a crossbow, a, a doubled crossbow. And I'm not actually sure what's up with this one. It might also be a crossbow. How many? I, it, it definitely is. I've been sent two crossbows, and they're not stringers as in bungee cord stringers. They are proper prod-powered crossbows, and I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, yeah, yeah, so stay tuned. Hopefully again next week there will be some crossbows on my channel. Um, cool new designer in the hobby. Love what he's coming up with. Looking forward to that. All right, we got another one here. It's a, it's a thing. Ooh, I've been sent Lego minifigure. Which one? We're going to start with that. Aha! It's, uh, I have no idea. But they've got a bow, so that's cool. Ah, it's 
Why does it have a... T I did not know they made a tiny owl. That is fabulous. I believe it's Hawkeye. A little Hawkeye figure with a bow and a quiver. Very cool. And a tiny owl. As opposed to the big Harry Potter style owls. Very cool. All right. Let's see what we got in the package. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It was a... A rare blaster that somebody acquired from, like, a garage sale or something. This is from Ryan, um, aha, look, on note. Good day, sir. I hope the day finds you well. Here it is, the wonderful 30-year young blaster to add to the collection. Thanks for all you do for the hobby, Ryan and family. Uh, yes, it was found at a Goodwill for four bucks. Uh, and it's, I believe, an old Tyco blaster, and it actually did... Looks like it, it's a flywheeler that fired darts, and this is a flywheeler from the early 90s. Uh, I've got some ball blasters from this era. Aha, here we go. Can I read it? Yes, 1993 Tyco Playtime Inc., a subsidiary of Tyco Toys Inc., made in China. Um, I've got two of the ball blasters that are kind of from the same line, same general idea, and uh, I, I didn't know this existed until... They posted it. I, I, I wonder if it works. It looks like it's supposed to have a magazine. I don't have the magazine, but it's going to go on the wall anyway, and that that is pretty cool. So, yes, thank you for that. It's, it's neat when items show up that I didn't know I didn't have. Uh, it's not very common anymore, but there were other companies making dart blasters before Hasbro got a hold of it. Um, Laramie, Tyco, Mattel, a lot of them had stuff that are really hard to find and aren't well documented because they didn't, they didn't survive because it became nerf or nothing. And so whenever something that I didn't know about shows up, it's always really, really cool. So am I fogging up? I can't tell. I'm a carry on. We have another Pekarge from Darshan. It's a, a note! Always good to have an explanation. Greetings, Captain Xavier. I've been following your channel for about one year. I really like your Monday mod tips. They helped me keep my lipos safe. I love the new Get Off My Lawn series, but I love your Friday fan mail the most. I hope you finally get around to making a list of root beers you keep talking about. Speaking of which, I was... Vacationing in New Hampshire recently, and I was having brunch at a Woodstock Inn brewery where I discovered they brew their own root beer. So I picked up a few, which are included in this package. Hope you enjoy them. Sincerely, Django Rum Runner. Well, I am always up for a new root beer. And yeah, most microbreweries have their own root beer as well, just as a, a non-alcoholic version. You know, a non-alcoholic option for when people, you know, do tours of the brewery and they've got either sober friends or, or children or whatever. Uh, so it's very common for them to have their own root beer. Uh, and, uh... What do we have? K&M root beer, handcrafted in New Hampshire's White Mountains. That is definitely one I have never had before. Interesting. Well packaged. They survived. Most excellent. Thank you very much. I will have one of these with dinner tonight, perhaps. And I will let you know what I think of it. That is an entirely... Never heard of it, never seen it. Very cool. I do need to go through my collection and create a list, just like I, I need to go back through the the Nerf collection and uh, figure out if there's anything I'm still missing. I'm pretty sure the only thing I'm missing at this point is the Slingfire DX400 that apparently just might as well not exist for how rare they are. Um, all right, I have one last package. It's a big one. It's fragile, apparently. So uh, we're gonna take a look. I believe, I believe there is root beer in here as well. We will see if it's one I've had before. Not that having the same root beer more than once is ever a bad thing. It's like getting more of the same Lego set. Just not an issue. This comes to me, incidentally, from the Louisiana Blaster League. And having spoken about Dr. Pews before, 
Uh, he's the only one of the crew that I know of that's ever gone to Louisiana. And he went there just for family vacation, and it just happened that they were having a Nerf event this, while he was there. So he shows up to the Nerf event, and they recognized him. And like, <gasps> Dr. Pugh, what are you doing? He was like, what? How do you know who I am? <laughs> well, you're in the crew. You're with the captain. So he got his little, his moment of celebrity, and he, it, it felt pretty cool. Oh, good lord. What? What is, what? What? There is so much going on in here, and I've only gotten through the top. A note! Salutations, Captain Xavier. We hope you're enjoying the rest of a very busy... Er, re, re, sir, we hope you're enjoying some rest after a very busy year. I am. Uh, we are honored to celebrate this past year with you by sending some glorious goodies for your enjoyment. They are... Uh, we are so inspired by your many mentions in news articles and interviews that we thought to share with you our humble pieces of news coverage by our local newspaper. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, we made sure to send the comics and puzzle section as well so that you can have something to do while you rest up for the next year. Next, you will find a medium-sized orange envelope uh, with some of our favorite patches and stickers for you and your gear. Excellent! Some of those stickers have our upcoming retro logo that we will be showcasing on some of our merch early next year. After that, we have included an official Louisiana Blaster League t-shirt in your size. Excellent! Um, one can never have enough community shirts to add to their collection. You really can't. I love having uh, lots of club shirts. Lastly, we've included some amazing locally brewed Albita root beer straight from Albita Spring. Or Abita. I, I love Abita. Abita is one of my favorites. Um, Louisiana, we hope that uh, as a renowned root beer connoisseur, you will enjoy these delicious beverages. Thank you for being a great part of this community, contributing to your wealth, our wealth of knowledge, for the world to see. Almost all board members here at Mutation uh, were all board members at Mutation Mall Madness, and it was a great pleasure meeting you and flinging foam with you throughout the night. Please consider visiting us at some point during your busy schedule and joining us for a game. We are always welcome here, and we have some really good food, too. I hope to see you at many more games across the country and across the world. Sincerely, Louisiana Blaster League board members James, Allen, Jacob, Noah, and Heath. Very, very cool. They've got pictures. Awesome. Awesome. All got good loadouts. I like it. I like it. And we've got, aha! A newspaper. <laughs> We're just here to have fun. Louisiana Blaster Big builds community fun for all. Very cool. More pictures. Oh, oh, yep, more pictures. Very cool, very cool. And then the comic. I will, I will have to give it a read when I have some time. Aha! An envelope. Well, this must have the patches. Dr. Pugh did eventually get the patch to me. I think it, yes, it, it made it to the wall. But uh, now I've got more than I can give out. Ooh, and stickers. Ah, oh, the retro patch. I'll have to give one of those to uh, Dr. Flux. He's into the retro stuff. I have got to get more merch. You guys have more merch than me. And patches! Patches to dole out and to put on my gear. Very cool. That is a really cool logo. It's a, a crawfish holding an FDL3. A crawfish has good, uh, good taste in blasters. I would love to come out sometime. I've never been to Louisiana. Um, I've heard good things about the area and the food, and, uh, we'll have to see if we can- wait, no, nope, there's more in here. Aha! More stickers. We'll have to see if we can make that happen at some point. Maybe I can tag along with Dr. Pews the next time he comes down. Alright, what do we got? We've got the shirt! Yes! Louisiana Blaster League. Very cool. And a beta! A be They're taking the box apart. Very strange. Um, yes, a beta is, is a fabulous root beer. I have had it before. Oh, and it's well packaged. Ah, it didn't appear to be any leaks. Very good, very good. I have had... Root beer tragically not make it to me safely 
Uh, so it is a good idea to package it really well and label it as fragile. And when it came to me, they <laughs> the bottle had broken and the rip had spilled, and so they put the whole thing in basically a hazmat bag and still delivered it. And not everything had broken, just some of them. Oh, that was very well packaged. Six bottles of the good stuff. I will take one of these with me on my trip as well and have it for food as well. I did not know it came from Louisiana. It shows you how much I've paid attention. Most excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Awesome. Right, well, if you would like to send me something and watch me geek out about getting it, the mailing address is down in the description. Um, and I, I'm always up to get stuff. Doesn't need to be fancy stuff. Anything you send will be appreciated. Rare blasters are always very appreciated. New root beers, or just any root beer. It doesn't need to be new. I will drink it again. Unless it's one that I really didn't like. There's only been a couple I didn't like. Which is why I really need to get that list together and actually, like, put notes in on what I thought of them. Um, there used to be a root beer store locally where somebody had a notebook of all their favorites and stuff. Uh, but I believe it's closed down now. Tragic. I was not able to patronize it nearly as much as I would have liked. Anyway, I got stuff to do. I'm sure you do too. So thank you for watching. Stand <laughs> oh, it!